that conversation can be happening here, but that's not sticking together. Right, okay. For me, Zach, for me, and it's on camera, so we can watch it together. Fine, two, fine. I'll say two things. One thing, the ball went out. Two things, how right. I can jump over the bar and catch the ball when the ball's gone out. Come on, Rangers. Come on, Rangers. Come on, Rangers. I mean, this is unreal at this level, isn't it? Look at it. This is part of the attraction. Apart from the amazing coaching and management skills, look at this. All right, chaps. Here we go again. How are we doing that? All right. Light down flat with the crossbar down and the gut, the neck, the white bits go in and turn and clip in. It's the first home game of the season for Child FC and the first time in 116 years that Child are hosting a game at a level as high as the Mid-Sussex Premier Division. And as a result of reaching this level, the club have invested in some new goals. So every week from henceforth, the players have to work together to get the goals in place, like some sort of office team building activity. Meanwhile, Child manager Peter Barkley has just discovered his left back is feeling a little under the weather. What's up? I'm not 100% at all, mate. So I don't know whether to... Oh, yeah, mate, I'll give it a go. You've been up all night? Yeah. No, I just don't feel well. Do you know what I mean? I played golf yesterday, I had a day off. He boozed last night? I had a couple of bottles of wine, but not nothing. Listen, go go, go smash some Lucas Aids down, yeah? Yeah, I've got the Lucas Aids. Smash innit? some water and Lucas Aids. You might yeah. sweat it out in the warm-up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Oh, You've got this, mate. You're solid. <laughs> You're solid. So at this level now, the, the fans and all around the pitch needs to be a metre. Um, 1.8. One, 1.8 metres. Yeah. 1.8 metres. This is Graham, who's um, the part of the Sunday side, but on, honorary part of the Saturday side as well. <laughs> His dad used to play for us, Bill, and they both come and watch all the time. And Graham's marked out these amazing lines for us and goes above and beyond for us, don't you, Graham? All the time. So this is 1.8. Um, and all the fans have to be this side and the, the kind of management that side. So just to, I don't know, just part of the ruling as we go up. The next level, as we know, is actual dugouts and floodlights. But I don't think the uh, millionaires in child would be too happy when they've got, and I'm sure the, uh, the airport won't be too happy. But that's another problem if and when we can get out of this league. But today, first home game, yeah, four away games on a trot. Hollington, as I said, lovely place. Looking forward to going back, aren't we, Graham? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Den. Do you know what teams get from us here at the Den, Jamie? They get that, don't they? That's how much they get from us here, Zacho. They get that, Lockie, don't they? Yeah, nothing here, mate. Nothing at the Den. No change to the Den, mate. We don't even give them our water. We turn the showers off, don't we, next door as well, Jay? Brand new match balls, brand new goals, brand new players' entrance. Easiest team talk, like Mike says, easiest team talk in the world. We've had four horrible away trips and we've gone four from four. And last week, unreal, unreal. I was buzzing, not just because of how horrible they were, but because we clicked and I could feel it. We've turned that corner. I've had a go at you in a few games at half times because I knew we weren't where we should be. And last week we were there, boys. You were all eights and nines. Easiest team talk, because all I've got to say is, go do it again. We're here, we have our home advantage because we're familiar. This is all ours. That's ours out here, this is our area. Everything we have is ours. And I joked at the start, but we don't give anything away here, boys. No one comes here to our home, to our castle and takes anything from us. Because I'm looking at decent footballers with big arts, but also have that bit where they can mix it. And I don't want anyone to come here and get anything from us. This is our fortress. You've won four on the bounce away. You've earned today. Keep the work rate, keep that aggression, but go play. Get the ball wide. Sh go and show them how good we can be. We could be a hell of a side, and I'd back us against Ryman teams all the way up, boys. The quality in here and the way we use the ball, I'm telling you. And you're not the finished articles yet. There's still more to learn and more to show and more to come. We've had a huge step forward. Now we keep that momentum. No quarter given, no mercy, all over the park. Any challenge, any appeal, any shot of goal. We're clinical, we're ruthless. And last week we take him to this week. Let's get out there and get on the face. As the sun blazes down onto the grass around Gatwick Airport, Charles set about Willingdon. And in the opening minute, Jamie Nadell has hit the post. 
And with keeper Zach Rice's distribution on points, what a strike, Zacho! Jamie is afforded another chance to open up the away side, much to Kevin Locke's frustration. Chalwood then completes the trilogy of missed chances when Jamie finds Justin Ford, who can't keep his shot down. Target just. Willingdon can't get out of their own half, and Chalwood toy with their opponents, Jamie Liddell being the chief tormentor. Unlucky nurse. Justin Ford has the best chance of the opening quarter, but a lack of confidence allows a defender to nip in and close it down. You're going to score, Just. It's just when. Just when. When Ford goes clean through but lobs the ball over the keeper and the crossbar, it's time for Parks to work some motivational magic. Come here, forget the game. Come here. Come here. Unbelievable. They can't live with you. Just calm yourself. You're staying on here, you're going to score. Just when? When? Just relax. Almost immediately after his pep talk, Ford gets in again. And while he doesn't find the net, the ball falls to Kevin Locke and the veteran striker bags his first goal of the season. Yes! Hey! No more than what we deserve! No more than what we deserve! Keep the energy! It isn't just up top where Child are looking lively. Tom Tennant is busy clattering people in midfield too. And even when Willingdon do get a foothold, the Child defence is proving impenetrable. Superb, Hurts! Slow him down, slow him down! No foul, what up, Mertz? Mertz going to run up! Right, we do. Good lad, Lou. Nah, is he? 1v1 just, you 1v1 just. Shortly before half time, Child puts a move together that ends with a low drive from new fullback Aaron Murphy. Yes, Aaron! Yes, Murph! You deserve that, son. Get in there, Aaron. It's the kind of finish that bounces off the part of the new goal frame that makes it look like the ball didn't go in. As the half ticks away, there's an overwhelming sense that Child should have a bigger lead. If there's one player whose efforts largely go unnoticed by the bunch of amateurs cameras, it's Child's number four and serial man of the match winner Ben Herdman. So we're trying to correct that here. Superb Herd! Superb, you alright? Yeah, feel good. Superb in there. Superb Kev. Well done, big man. You alright? Good lads. Brilliant. I'm real on the bench there. Well done. Well done. Superb. The kick in the... Well done, mate. Well done. Distribution. And coming for the long throws as well. Cleaned up. Unbelievable half. Unbelievable. I was proud last week in the grit and the energy. I'm proud of the football. I can stand there, honestly, boys, and I'm always proud of you, but I can stand there, sit back, relax, go, I am so proud this is my team. I am so proud of the way we're using that football. I'm joking going, it's free entry out there. These people haven't paid a penny to see this, but they're going to come away. Anyone that's here today is going to say, what a side. We went to Hollington and mixed it physically. You want to have it, we'll have it. You want to play football, good luck trying to outplay football here. They cannot live with any one of you, and you're all playing eight, nine out of ten. Obviously, it's red hot. It's, I know it's boiling. We'll keep doing the water bottles, but the more we've got the ball, and we already know that we become stronger than teams in second half. Our history over three, four years proves that. So it's going to open up even more. Boys, I mean, I'm I don't know how you feel, but I'm absolutely buzzing at defending. They haven't got near us. From him all the way through to Lockheed, I cannot fault any of you. I really can't. Got to keep it going, though. Yes. Got to keep the energy going. Goals are going to be big this season. We don't know how results are going. Every time we get the opportunity for our own confidence as a team, let's come away 4-5. That's your challenge now. It go in nil-nil. We go again. Can we get 4-5 and get a big result on the board today? Brilliant, brilliant half. Keep it going, boys, all right? Brilliant half. You all right? Superb.
Chow would have another lively start, and Willingdon appear to be hoping they can simply keep the score down. At least until a shot's on goal, cannons off of Lewis Forsdick's arm. Steve Hickman Smith steps up to give Willingdon an unlikely lifeline. All right, one shot on goal, eh, lads? Let's go again. Chow would respond with another wave of attacks. Firstly, Jamie Liddell's corner is somehow not turned in by Dean Richmond and Tom Tennant. The ref perhaps should have booked Tom Tennant for missing such an easy chance, but he corrected that mistake soon after. Ref, see it? Is he booking him for that? Oh, wow, it's his first one of the whole game. He's trying to win the ball. That's the reaction of the player. It was demonstrably not his first one, and we suspect he did not try to win the ball. Well done, Mikey. Chow would settle down and their passing becomes slicker. Sweeping move across the pitch is a hint of what they're capable of on their day. Get in the air, adjust. And it eventually ends at the feet of Kevin Locke, who is incredibly unfortunate not to find the net. I was going to say, that one was a yard in. Your watch must be broken. <laughs> Lips, mate, that was it. Get, get, get and get a shower. Get and get a shower. Having drunk just two bottles of wine the night before, Adam Lippitt is clearly being affected by some other form of sickness. The inconsistency of the referee's handball judgments causes some consternation in the child ranks, not least with Jamie Liddell, whose frustration levels appear to be rising. A rush of blood causes the winger to unceremoniously punt his opponent from behind, a move that proves very costly. Can't do that, Jamie. Well, you, well, just admit you made a mistake, mate. Your teammates now are working their nuts off. Still, the resulting corner proves rather fruitful. Yes! Get in there! Aaron Murphy's cross is bundled over by Lewis Forsdick, and Child restore their two goal lead. However, it only takes Child 10 minutes to shoot themselves in the foot again. Well done, Tomo! Go side, Murph! Ah! Seriously, Dad! Seriously, you're happy with that? Absolutely pathetic. It seems needless to say it, but the public dressing down didn't really work for Zach, and his response was as colourful as you might expect, but more on that later. On the bright side, it led to this inch perfect drop kick that landed at the feet of Justin Ford, still searching for the back of the net. I've just had a swipe and tried to have a go of ball and man, and that's why I'm, that's why I'm frustrated. Because it was, oh, fuck's sake. Oh well. I'm just gonna, you know, it's just hard. We've got a very competitive squad. Hard, you miss three games. Players play well, you win games. It's hard to get back in the team. I'm playing well. How many games? Three. Three. Well done, bruv. Good kicks out there, good saves, mate. Well done. Yeah, really good kicks. Fucking arse, mate. What happened? What's going on? If you've got a problem with it, tell them to talk to it in here. In front of all them fucking people like that. What, you had a bad box? Yep. Right, but you should have seen him, man. Ball looped in miles up in the air, and they tapped him back. Home. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, shout the perfected. Deal with it. Catch that! If you can't fucking catch that, that's pathetic. So fuck you. I bet that went well, down well with you. I told you. <laughs> I know. I've, I've known you a long time, mate. I know probably exactly how that went. Oh, right, yeah. Some of you boys think I should have fucking caught that half of the anchor. The fallout from Willingdon's second goal was an escalating situation, and one that we cannot show too much of, if only because there were so many naked men walking around the room. Yeah, well done, boys. First half, 
unreal, like we said, at half time. Second half, I mean, the penalty's harsh, could go either way. I think we should have won the other end. All right, and we, that's their first shot on goal. Then we go down to 10 men. We battle through it. Justin, buzzing for you today, because it hasn't really gone your way since you come down. And today it has. Lockie's on the score sheet. But again, it's a different side of our game, that second half. The grit with 10 men in that heat to stick together. And I know some people have shout out at me and not happy with me. I back you all, but now we've won together against them. We're the team, you're my team. I back all of you, support you as much as I can on and off the pitch. It's a clean slate, boys, and we're going to be a hell of a side. It's going to be a hell of a season, boys, and it's always going to be a roller coaster, whatever. Cheers, boys, well done. Oh, all right, all right, so, it's fine, it's fine. Do you, fine. Have, do you think that's sticking together, Leon? What's that? That, out there. I want okay, to... In that, in, in that instant, that conversation can be over here, but that's not sticking together. Right, OK. <coughs> for me, Zach, for me, and it's on camera, so we can watch oh, it together. Fine, two, fine. Two, I'll say two things. One thing, the ball went out. Two things, how right. I can jump over the bar and catch the ball when the ball's gone right. out. Listen, if it's, it's beyond me. If it's not how I saw it, I'll hold my hands up, Zach. But yeah, for me... It's not sticking yeah. together, though, is it? Let's be honest. For me, it looked like, it looked like you weren't didn't jump. That's what it looked like. It's not, it's, I can't go over the All goal. All right, listen, if I'm wrong, I'll apologise I'll apologize to Zach now. But I felt like it could have been dealt with. I felt like it could have been dealt with. Very eventful day. Um, first off, un literally unbelievable. Anyone walking past here, uh, watching that game, would have seen the quality of football we played. All the things we worked on in training, moving the ball, overloading areas, creating chances from the very first minute. What, tuning up at half-time, buzzing, unbelievable. Second half, I mean, a penalty for trying to block a shot, <laughs> harsh. 2-1, back in it. Was it 3-1? Jamie sent off, um, down to 10 men, just pure, pure petulance, really. Especially when you're a match winner, like he is. We've got top of the league next week now, and for a little kick out like that, I've lost him. And then obviously the other goal, <laughs> which uh, is a bit of a talking point, really. If I'm misjudged how this uh, looked in real time and how I perceive this situation, I'll apologise to Zach and I'll apologise to everyone. If I've reacted adversely and killed his confidence and been too over the top, I'll hold my hands up. We'd be lying if we were to tell you that was the end of the matter and Barks was able to let it lie. Anyway, here's the referee who was nice enough to tell us what it's like to be in the middle of all of that action. I'm Richard Smallwood and I'm from Horsham and I've been refereeing for 38 years. Enjoy certain clubs, certain clubs treat you better than others, uh, especially when you move into the like, Southern Combination League. Uh, some just, you're there, you're doing a job, some really welcome you before the game and talk to you after the game. It's just just different feeling. The majority of the time now I'm doing Mid-Sussex League football. I've known a lot of the younger players that have come up through the Youth League that I'm Vice Chairman of, so you get to see how, how some of the youngsters have progressed as well. Yeah, it was a good competitive game. Had one eventful incident, but otherwise it quite easy really. I've met Jamie a number of times over the last 15 years, it's the third time I've sent him off. Um, he lost his temper basically, he didn't get to the ball, he should have got to the ball, kicked out, caught the player, got sent off. Subscribe to Bunch of Amateurs and make sure you get our videos every time we publish them, which should be twice a week but we guarantee nothing.